Good morning everyone. I am Samina Majid. We are going to discuss about using this state space to represent reasoning with the predicate calculus, which is a topic in artificial intelligence. Now, before getting on to our topic, let us see what a problem space is. A problem space normally has two sections, which is the state space and the operators. Um, what a state is? State is normally an information or an action which will take us into our desired goal. That's a state. Now, what a state space is? It is a set of states which will represent the possible configurations of our desired goal. That's it. Then um, we have one more term that is the solution. Solution is the sequence of actions. The sequence of actions which will take uh, which will take us into our desired goal. And the problem space will also have a set of operators. I told there are different states. So to take us from one state to another state, there are certain operators used in the problem space. Um, example, example of a state space representation is the following. Here we have uh, we have an example given based on installing an application from App Store or Play Store. Uh, this example is something familiar to everyone, every one of us, uh, which is like, first of all, we will type something, whatever the application is, Facebook or whatever the application is, you go to the App Store or Play Store and type the application, that is, you search the application. Then the next step uh, where you will reach is, or the next state where you reach is, you can choose your desired application from a list of applications. Then there will be different conditions which you will have to accept for installing that particular application, right? So you will accept those conditions and there are two chances that you might get into. The first one is uh, like during your installation process, you may come across some errors in your process and then your app will not be installed that we have uh, specified here app not installed and if you again retry suppose you don't have enough space and you make enough space by deleting uh, certain things and when you retry it you will be successful it will be the application will be successfully installed otherwise uh, the second chance which I said is after after what after checking your conditions and everything you accept it and the app will be directly installed and when you check it again it will be successfully installed so this is one example of state space representation now here uh, from the first step to the last step we can say the first step can be termed as the start node or the starting node and the last step or where you have reached this certain goal that can be termed as the goal node here we can say successfully installed is the goal node or that is the solution of the problem now what is a predicate calculus predicate calculus is also termed as first order logic or first order predicate logic now there are certain operators used in predicate logic um, which we have already studied and these various operators are greater than less than uh, less than or equal to greater than or equal to equal to or not equal to here uh, there are symbols given for all of these operators and also there are um, something marked in red right G, T, L, T, L, E, G, E, E, Q. These are all functions which can be used. Um, we will learn it later. Now here, um, to represent a sentence in, in the predicate calculus, we also use the De Morgan's law, which we have already learned in our previous semesters, right? 
so the first one is not not of not a we know the symbol the first symbol represents not so not of not a is equal to a the not of a or b is equal to not a and not b and not of a into b is equal to not a or not b now let us see some examples uh, in which we convert statements into predicate calculus the first one is marcus is a man marcus is a man to write this in the predicate calculus um, first of all let us see what is the proper noun in the sentence the proper noun in the sentence is marcus here marcus is the proper noun in the sentence and now let us see what predicate is in the sentence here we can say man is the predicate like man is information that we got to transfer so here we can select man as a predicate then the proper noun which is marcus we write it inside the bracket as you can see in the solution that is marcus is written in the bracket and outside you can see man so when you read that solution sentence first of all we read the one that is written in the uh, in the bracket so marcus is an, we can say like marcus is an instance of class man so this is the basic representation i have said now um, let us see the following ones the second one is marcus was an indian marcus was an indian we can represent this too we can represent it as marcus is the proper noun here and indian is the um, predicate that you got to represent so here marcus the proper noun we have written in the um, in the inside bracket that is marcus and indian we have written outside so marcus here also we can say like marcus is an instance of class indian now what is the main difference between these these two sentences the first one is marcus is a man and the second one is marcus was an indian so here are uh, there are differences in their grammar representation right but in the solution representation they have got almost the same type so that's it grammar or um, articles or whatever it cannot be represented it cannot be properly represented in this kind of predicate calculus here we give importance only to the pronouns and etc so there is no specific grammar representation now let's see the third example in the third example we have written the question is all pompians were romans question is all pompians were romans pompians just like we say indians it is also a classification so all pompians were romans uh, to represent all we have already learned a mathematical sign which is for all x right it's like a written in water so for all x and here we have written pompian of x implies roman of x right so here we can read it as for all the occurrences of x for all x or for all for all the occurrences of x if x is a pompian you can write if x is a pompian then you can always conclude that x is a roman so from the brackets we start reading that is for all instances of pompian for all instances of pompian it is also uh, implied that all the instances of x is also roman that is uh, instead of x suppose i ask my system by giving a name or or a a pronoun then it will result like um if i'm going to tell my system that marcus is a pompian then the system will reply me saying that marcus is also roman that's it now we have the next question every gardener likes sun here 
um, if we check the question properly, sun is a proper noun, and here gardener will be the predicate, right? So now we got we have got to establish a relation, saying that every gardener um, or any instance of class gardener will like the object called sun. So um, to represent this sentence, every gardener likes sun. Here we use again for all x, for all x, and uh, gardener of x implies likes of x comma sun. In the bracket here we have got x comma sun, right? Here um, since sun is the proper noun, we have written inside the bracket. And uh, all instances of gardener, all the instances of gardener X will like sun. That is, um, we start reading like X likes sun. The first thing in the bracket is X. So we read X, then the left side likes, then the right side in the bracket sun. So X likes sun. This is the way how we got to represent. Now you have, um, the next question is, all purple mushrooms are poison. Here again to represent all, we have used for all x. And here we have got purple mushrooms. You cannot write purple mushrooms together. Purple mushrooms as a single sentence or single word. You cannot write it like that. Here instead, um, you should take purple as a class and mushrooms as a different class and you have to represent it using the and and operator which we already learned so here for all x mushrooms of x and purple of x that is all the instances of um, all the instances of mushroom of class mushroom should be the instance of class purple like it should be the this condition should be satisfied. If X is something that satisfies both these conditions, then X is poisonous. Then the system will result us saying that it is poisonous. So this is how you represent that. Now everyone is loyal to someone. Here everyone is loyal to someone. Um, something like this, like this type of question will be difficult to solve because here there is no proper pronoun. There is no proper noun, like there is no name or in, there is no name like Caesar, Marcus or anything. So there is no predicate. There is no predicate to. Uh, earlier we were representing using pronouns and predicates. Here there is no such things, so it will be. Um, difficult to mention. It will be confusing to here. Here we have written for all x, for all x, there x is y. Here y is used to represent someone and x is used to represent everyone. So for all x, there x is y, such that x is loyal to y. Y we have already said there x is y. So everyone, every instance of X um, is loyal to some instance of Y. That is what we have represented here. Now the next question is everyone loves everyone. Um, earlier we told like everyone is loyal to someone. So to represent someone we used their excess Y. Now here to represent everyone loves everyone we are, going to, we are going to use for all x for all y loves of x comma y that is all the instances of x will love all the instances of y that's it now we have everyone loves everyone except himself except himself so to represent that we have used the not a symbol here that is x loves of for all x for all y uh, all the instances of x loves y 
and and here dot of loves of x comma x that is x does not love x which means x does not love himself that is what we have represented here so this is the way how you represent predicate calculus i hope you understood all the topics discussed here thank you